Make money while you sleep. Sit on and collect. What if I told you that you don't always have to work hard for the money? <laughs> hey guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. COVID-19 has made us all realize that our jobs might not be as safe as we thought. Relying on your traditional 9 to 5 might not cut it. But don't give up hope just yet. There are other ways to earn money without having to do much. What you need is passive income. Passive income is a cash stream that requires little or no daily effort to maintain, unlike active income which is cash earned from the likes of a full-time job. The idea is to have a steady stream of self-sufficient income. You don't work for this money, this money works for you. So why build passive income? Well, salaries typically depend on your active participation in the form of a full-time job. You know what I'm talking about. Even if you love your job, I'm willing to bet you wouldn't mind earning some extra cash without the blood, sweat, and tears and the time commitment of another job. In fact, there are several other benefits of building a passive income. It creates an opportunity to retire early. It protects you from a complete loss of income if you lose your job in, let's say, a global pandemic. And it also gives you an extra source of income when you're no longer able to work or if you outlive your retirement fund. So how much money can you make? Glad you asked that question. If you're looking for a get rich quick scheme, forget it. Passive income generally won't make you rich overnight. It usually does require a bit of work and sometimes some money in the beginning. But after that, it can provide a steady, profitable income that can build some serious money for you in the long haul. We're talking anywhere from a few thousand dollars to hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. Some passive income ideas like renting out a property or building a blog may take some work to get up and running, but they could potentially earn you money while you sleep. Just sit down and collect. In this episode, I'll be touching on three of the best ways you can start earning passive income right now. Number one, invest in dividend paying stocks. Now dividends are your share of the profits when you invest in a company. When you buy shares in a company, you become a part owner of that company. So you're entitled to a part of the profit when the company makes money. However, dividends aren't guaranteed. First of all, the company has to actually make a profit and then shareholders like you and me get to decide how to use the company's profit. If you're going to reinvest it to build the company or if you're going to pay yourself a dividend. Additionally, as you may have learned from watching Money Mondays JA, there may be times when dividends are suspended. Because of COVID-19, several companies are suspending dividend payments because they need to hold on to that cash just in case things get worse. Some good dividend paying stocks on the Jamaica Stock Exchange are Carreras, Panjam and the various banks. However, Carreras and Panjam have both put a hold on dividend payments. If you've been following the news and watching Taking Stock, you know that Panjam has a heavy stake in Sagicor, but the Bank of Jamaica had indicated that financial institutions were not to pay dividends until next year. They've since reversed that position for small shareholders, but large institutions like Panjam will still have to wait. Even so, investing in shares on the stock exchange is still one of the easiest and most popular ways to earn passive income. Invest in the right industry today and this time next year, you could just sit on and collect. Now, you don't have to rely only on dividends to make money from the stock market. You also earn when you sell your shares for more than the price that you bought them for. Right now, many stocks are selling for cheap, so it could be a good opportunity to buy at a discount and sell later on when the market recovers. If you have some extra cash that you don't need back for at least a few months, this could be a good option for you. But remember, I'm not a licensed financial advisor and there are no guarantees here. Anything could happen. Case in point, 
COVID-19. None of us saw it coming and the effect it has had on the market. If you like what you hear and you want to get started investing in shares and earning dividends, your first job is to contact a stockbroker at one of the brokerage firms authorized by the Jamaica Stock Exchange, such as Proven Wealth. You can visit or telephone the broker, informing him or her which shares and how many you wish to purchase. Your broker is your link with the market. He or she will buy or sell according to your instructions. Now, a second major source of passive income is real estate. Before COVID-19, Jamaica's housing market was robust, thanks to booming tourism and an improving economy. In 2018, we even received a record-breaking 4.32 million visitors. But the bad news is that this pandemic has effectively decimated our tourism industry and people are holding off on buying houses or unable to pay mortgages. But the good news is that Jamaica's housing market has a large supply of new apartments and houses. And often, during economic recessions, like the one in 2008, real estate prices drop. So this could be a huge buying opportunity that you can capitalize from, a sale on houses. But we'll have to keep watching the market to see if this materializes. And there are two main ways that you can make money through real estate. It's actually quite similar to what I explained with stocks, although typically you need a lot more money to get started because houses ain't cheap. So the first way that you make money from real estate investment is rental income. You own an apartment, an office building, or a house, and your tenants pay you rent every month. And FYI, rental income isn't limited to real estate. You can rent just about anything. I actually earn passive income by renting out a vehicle. Lots of people do it by renting taxes. They do the work, you sit on and collect the rent. But back to real estate. You may be wondering why make this massive investment up front to buy a property and only collect a small amount each month in rent. It may take you many, many years to recoup your investment. Well, there are a couple of ways to look at it. If you're able to earn more from rent than you pay for your monthly mortgage payment, then you're actually making a profit and the house is paying for itself. You're basically getting a free house and making money off it. A lot of people who purchased properties and rented them through Airbnb have been able to do that. Of course, with tourism wiped out now, those people are really struggling now because they're not collecting any rent but they still have to pay that mortgage. So I don't have to tell you that this method is risky because you're not guaranteed to have a tenant or to make back that money. Now, the second way you can earn passive income from real estate though, is through capital appreciation. This is when the property increases in value over time due to several factors such as higher demand for properties in that area, higher construction costs and improvements on the property then you can sell the property for a profit. In other words, you flip it. If the housing market declines due to this crisis, this could be an opportunity to buy at a low price and then make some money in a few years when the market recovers, if you can wait that long. Think about what houses in Kingston were selling for in 2008 during the recession and what they're selling for now, like two or three times more. It could be a massive gain but this is only for those thinking long term. Now, if you're looking for some short term passive income that doesn't require so much money up front, here's an idea. You could create a digital product that you sell online. Of course, writing a book or other similar product is hardly a passive activity, but once you've put in the work up front, you can continue to sell it and earn money from it for a long time without doing much else. For example, this YouTube video took some effort to make, but it could potentially continue making me money for years to come if new people keep finding it and watching it, or if you watch it again and again. You could create a series of timeless videos that will always be relevant, such as cooking or other how-to videos. Every few months, run a promotion to get more views, and these videos can just keep earning you ad revenue for years to come. That way you can just sit on and collect. Other digital products that can do well are things like ebooks, workbooks, and instructional guides. You can self-publish these items as PDFs and sell them yourself, 
or you can partner with a platform like Amazon, which takes a cut of your earnings in exchange for dealing with many aspects of the publication and distribution process. If you have any skill from pottery to sewing to cooking, chances are that you can monetize that into a digital product and start making some cash. Royalties are another good source of passive income. Here's an insider tip. If you're a writer and you've had any of your work published in Jamaica, you can sign up with Jam Copy, who will collect royalties on your behalf. Every year, just in time for Christmas, I get a lovely royalty check from Jam Copy for stuff that I wrote years ago. All I do now is sit down and collect. Well, that's it for this episode of Money Mondays JA, brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. Here's what's coming up on Taking Stock. At least 150,000 Jamaicans don't have a bank account, posing challenges, especially now in a time of COVID-19. Banks are finally stepping up, using innovation to reach the unbanked. We'll hear all about it from President of the Jamaica Bankers Association, Jerome Smalling. And suppose I told you that you could verify your identity without having to set foot outside your door. And I'm not talking about NIDS. It's a contactless digital identity verification platform, Orba One. CEO and head of product, Rashoy Billings, will join us. Later, the analysts weigh in on the latest market developments. Digicel's Bermuda-based holding company, Digicel Group One, files for bankruptcy. How bad are things for the company? We'll discuss. And just a reminder, Taking Stock is coming up on our brand new day, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on those post notifications. If I've given you any useful information, please share with a friend. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Stay safe.